Hi, and welcome back for Spring Session, I'm Josh. We've got about 600 new faces on campus this week, and the Vice-Chancellor heads up the list of those rolling out the welcome mat. I would urge them to take advantage of all of the facilities that are available here on the campus and all of the support services, because there's more to a university education than just the courses themselves. You do need to grow as an individual while you're here at the university and we'll help you do that. But the University of Wollongong now is in the top 2% of universities in the world so that when you end up with your degree from the University of Wollongong it's recognised everywhere in the world. Professor Sutton a little philosophical about his last session in the hot seat. The important bit at the University of Wollongong is the capacity of both the staff and the students and the culture of the university to care for our students. That's what I'm proud about. And of course I'll be sad at the end of the year uh, when I leave the University of Wollongong, but the University of Wollongong now and with the incoming Vice-Chancellor Paul Wellings will just go on to even greater things. So uh, yes, a little bit of sadness but a lot of pride. OWAC activities are again in the safe hands of Unicentre, O'Day shaping up as one to remember. Um, it's an awesome way to learn about the campus. Um, Orientation Day, which we call O'Day, is actually happening on the Tuesday the 19th. Um, and it's really a great, great way to meet some new people, uh, get familiar with the campus. And is there going to be some free stuff on offer, possibly? Plenty of free stuff. Uh, lots of lunches and dinners provided everywhere you go. Um, corporate sponsors try to give you anything they can give away. Um, we've got student diaries, we've got uh, free drinks, we've got games, we've got prizes. Um, anything you can think of that we can give away, we're trying to give it away. While many of us have just returned from holidays, there's been plenty of activity on our campuses over the break. Among the highlights, the annual Careers Expo at the Shoalhaven campus. UOW TV reporters Michaela Werner and Chloe Hart have the story. Another picture-perfect Navy landing. And another Shoalhaven Careers Expo proves a magnet for students, local businesses, educators and trainers. Well today's about giving youth to Shoalhaven some options and uh, options not only just to uh, get a job locally but stay locally. Uh, quite often obviously with Sydney being so close we lose some of the cream of our youth. Set against the backdrop of the Australian bush, the Shoalhaven campus presents itself as an attractive place to study and further your career. We hope that there are sufficient spread of training organisations, universities, TAFE, local businesses to show them the kinds of options that might be available to them. The Expo organisers making sure potential students left the campus informed and inspired to come back. We think that it helps students who wish to remain in the area undertake tertiary education that they would not be able to undertake if they had to go elsewhere. And what do you think of the campus here today? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really good, the variety of stuff we can look at. Michaela Werner, UOW TV. The South East region's budding scientists, designers and builders have taken centre stage at the annual Science and Engineering Challenge. We did an entire skyline window. To <laughs> You know, because it looks good and we had to cover 20% of the floor as a window, so that worked out well. This is the Illawarra and South East regional round of the Science and Engineering Challenge. The competition is actually a national event and this is the particular regional area round. Our best time is five seconds, which is really good. It was finished before, but then it broke. Yeah, he broke it. And that fun has spilled onto the football park. Youngsters from across the region taking part in the Waratahs rugby training camp hosted by URAC last week. We've got level three coaches here. We've had Tommy Carter from the Waratahs here. He's ran the guys through some skills and drills that they actually do at the top end. So these guys will actually take back to their clubs when they start playing next week. Um, so hopefully some new skills and, and hopefully we get some feedback from the coach saying that it's great for the, uh, the kids. Hopefully we do get um, some guys playing for the Waratahs and hopefully the Wallabies and, and maybe through the Olympic Games in the seven aside uh, from 2016. And that's our O-Week update. A big congratulation to everyone graduating this week. Remember, if you have a story to tell, tell us. 
I'm Josh Matthews. From all of us at UOW TV, have a great spring session.